Sam Cat Unedited, take one. Guys, this is a quick video which I'm gonna do just to update you about things because I've missed you and it's really awesome to see you and it's completely my fault that I haven't seen you because I stood you up and I feel bad about that. I told you I'd be here every Friday and I promise you I will try harder to absolutely make sure that happens from now on. Uh, I So I'm gonna give you a life update of what's happened and I'm not gonna edit this one because I haven't got time to edit this video because I have to be at the airport in 15 minutes. So. Quickly, I'm gonna update you and then I'm gonna go on an adventure, but while I'm on the adventure, I'm going to have my computer with me and I'm going to edit some things. So you will have a new video up maybe on Tuesday slash Wednesday. Um, so, I have been in Thailand, which was incredible, like way better than I thought it would be, which is stupid because it's Thailand, so obviously it would be amazing. And I was visiting Cass, who's amazing, so obviously it would be really amazing. Uh, and Cass has amazing friends, so obviously it was even more amazing. But despite all of those factors, Thailand alone was also just really incredible. I've got a lot of footage which I need to edit from that trip, so there will be a more in-depth video explaining Thailand coming to you. But in the meantime, um, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to Cass for having me and for introducing me to the amazing souls that are Holly and Katie, who took me under their wing and drove me around on the back of their bikes despite me being, according to everybody at the Hacienda Resort, the worst rider on the back of a motorbike ever. I also would like to apologize to Adam who had me on the back of his bike for a day and to Ken who had me on the back of his night of bike one evening and Ken was too polite to even say how bad I was until way later when everyone was talking about how bad I was. I don't know why I'm so bad at riding on the back of a bike. If anyone actually knows how I could improve being a back of motorbike rider, I would love to know because I've asked people and I've tried a lot. I've tried leaning in, I've tried not leaning in, I've tried um, moving forward, moving backwards. I've tried tensing my abdominal muscles and body so that I would be lighter, like with a yoga arm balance. I've tried not doing that and just kind of flowing like a sack of potatoes. And no matter what I did, everybody said that I was the worst very worst person to be on the back of a bike ever. So, <laughs> please can someone help me rectify this because I would like that title to not stay with me for the rest of my life. And to all of those people who put up with my terrible back of motorbike riding skills, thank you so much, you are awesome and I love you. And I can't wait to see you guys again soon for the part two of the Thailand video which has yet to be edited and the dive adventure part of it. So that was Thailand. Um, in a nutshell of gratitude. It was amazing, the food was amazing, the people were amazing, the beaches were amazing, the parties were amazing. I can't wait to go back. I didn't have my computer with me, so I didn't edit while I was there, and I didn't have a video while I was there. And then I came back, and I was very excited to see you all back on YouTube, but I got cast in this shoot straight away for the Fullerton Hotel and the Fullerton Bay Hotel, which is great as well, because it gave me some cash for my next adventure, so that's great. Um, but left me with very little free time. I finished filming last night, I got home at 10 p.m., went out, had some ice cream for dinner, fell asleep, woke up, packed, and now I'm here and I'm about to go off to Bali. So, uh, my next adventure is about to begin, which is really exciting for me. Um, I will be going to Commune, which is a resort that's built on an incredible right-hand break in Bali. It's a surf resort. I'll film the resort and the break if the swell's good enough, and I'll show you what that's all about, so surfers should definitely stay tuned for the video next week, Friday. Um, I'm spending tonight in a villa resort which is in like a rice paddy, so I'll get a little bit of footage of that as well and share that with you. And if you would like a more kind of live, current update of what's going on, you guys can follow me on Snapchat because I've downloaded that. So my Snapchat name is Samantha underscore yoga. And then on Twitter, I'm at S-L-K-A-Y-E. And Instagram, I'm Samantha, S-A-N-A. -A. So it's S-A-M-A-N-T-H-A-S-A-N-A. -A -A. The reason being that Asana is the end of the name of every yoga position. So there's Bada Konasana or Supta Virasana. It always ends in Asana. And asana in Sanskrit pretty much translates to the position of. So Samantha ends in an A. I thought, why not just add the S-A-N-A and make it Samantha Asana? And then it's like the position of Samantha. So it's kind of like a travel and yoga account with a bit of what I'm eating, because if I haven't put it in Instagram, did I really eat it, right? Um, yeah, so follow those channels. And if you're in Snapchat, then give me your username below so I can follow you, because I'm new and I'm following like 
two people. So I would love to follow more of you. And if there's anything which you would like me to do, see, vlog in Bali, let me know now. I do have my computer with me now, so I will be responsive while I'm there. And I will be have a video up on Tuesday slash Wednesday. All right, I've got to go to the airport. I love you all. Have a wonderful weekend. Thank you for watching and thanks for staying with me. Mwah!